So what do you get when you cross 15 Trappist monks and a brewery? Well, beer, obviously. It's beer o'clock, and from the Brasserie de Rochefort, we have a bottle of their Trappist Rochefort 6 coming in at 7.5% ABV. There we go. Now, the actual monastery has been there since sort of 1595, but have actually um, started brewing really since sort of 1899. And believe it or not, the Rushfort 6 is the oldest out of the three beers they produce. And then a lot of people they sort of think, oh, Rochefort 6, that's a 6% beer. No, 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 this is a 7.5% beer. Um, they do three beers. They do the 6, the 8, and the 10. And what the actual, the 6, 8, and 10 refer to um, is to the Plato Gravities that they actually um, brew the beer under. So the six has a gravity of sort of um, 1060, hence the six. The eight has a gravity of 1080, hence the eight. And the 10 has a gravity of 1.1, which is the 10. So that's how they work out this little figure here. Now the six is the oldest beer out of three. This is the first one that they produced and it was the only one they produced up until 1958 and then they sort of then you've got the, the watch for eight sort of appeared on the scene and then later on the ten. So this is the original I thought this is, I've got all three bottles I thought this is how we'll start off. We'll start off with the oldest the original one and we'll work over the next few weeks, we'll do the, all three of them. Um, I've also got a fantastic glass to go with it. So I think we'd better crack this open and give it a go. I'm going to be really, really careful with this because I want to keep this bottle cap, but believe it or not, I actually want to keep all three of them. So I don't really want to make the mess of the bottle cap. As I think I'll find a little place for them to go in here somewhere. Um, let's get it out into the bottle. Get it out into the glass, sorry. I'm going to pour this with a lot of love, as you can see. Let's get this in there nice and perfect. Just swizzle around the yeast because it re-ferments in the bottle. There you go, can you see that now? How cloudy that comes in at the end. There we go. A perfectly poured Trappist, Trappist Rochford. Now, let's look at the colour of that. It's reddish, um, it's cloudy, but it's a beautiful, has a red hue to it. Um, sort of, it's a bit like um, cherry wood. Have you ever seen like cherry wood furniture? Where it's that, that sort of brown, but that, it's that reddish hue coming through it. And especially when it's polished up, you know, the old um, cherry wood furniture. And look at that. It's absolutely fantastic looking beer. I don't know whether you can see the red through the glass, but it's absolutely fantastic. We've got to get the aroma of this, haven't we? Oh, it's getting really, really sweet, malty aroma to this.
berries. It's, it's also got a little bit of tartness there to the smell. It's sweet malts, berries, spices, um, and a tartness. You can, it's probably the Belgium yeast, but it's, sometimes it gives that sort of like, that sherbet sensation on your nose. Makes your nose tingle. Just giving a, a, a sour tartness on the nose. Um, let's dive in and give it a go. This is good. I'm going to have to take another couple of sips before I describe to you what this tastes like. Because that first sip has just screwed my brain over. There was so much going on in that first sip of this beer. One more. I'm getting biscuits, caramel, um, berries, real sort of fresh, zingy, tart, sour berries, um, a sugariness there. It's a heck of a lot. Even like, I think it's sort of toffee treacle there. There's a heck of a lot going on in this beer. There really, really is. It reminds me of oh, the caramel side and the biscuits. Remind me of, I'm sure, McVitie's. And I might be wrong, might not be McVitie's. Well, someone did a digestive biscuit years ago. And it had, instead of chocolate on top like your digestives do, it had caramel on top. And that is the sort of flavour I'm getting with this biscuits and caramel. And then I'm getting these zingy berries, you know, fresh berries, um, young. You know, you say like sometimes like, like some beers it taste dark fruits, you know, which is dark berries, you know, sort of black forest gatto, that sort of thing. This is sort of young berries. They're zesty. They're zingy. They're tart. They're sour. Um, it's like you've just picked them, you know, you haven't let them ripen up and you've picked them, you know. Um, such a complex taste on this beer is unbelievable. Now some people actually reckon the Trappish Roch Rochford beers are better than the West Flatarians. And I, I do believe that both companies produce three. Three. Um, but both, uh, we've got the West, West Flatarian do three, and Trappish Rochford do three. And the West Flatarian is in many eyes the best, but there are people that reckon that this Trappist Rochford is better. Now, I've not had West Flatarian yet. 
that's a beer which I'm going to be building up to on the channel. Um, I need to find some first because it's not cheap. <laughs> but um, this is going to take some beating, and this is just a six. This is this is the first one in the range, or like the oldest one in the range. So, but how's the others going to go? Are they going to go downhill or uphill? Because I'm actually looking at it and thinking the eight's going to be better than this and the ten's going to be even better. That's the way I read into it at the moment. And I'll tell you what, this is this is just pure luxury. Um, the light, look at the lacing on the glass. The way it just laces around that glass. Look how, you know, we're talking away. We've still got that beautiful head there on the beer. It's... It is, it's perfection. I've never, you know, we've had a lot of beers we've reviewed so far on this channel. And there's a lot of beers, you know, there's not many beers I don't like. But there's a few exceptional ones. But this, this is on another level. This beer is seriously on another level. Um, it's blowing me away a little bit. It is beautiful. It's just the, the complex of the flavours that are in it. It's just... The mouthfeel is so silky smooth. It's... Beautiful, it's just oh, this is a beer which you could sit there and just quite easily drink bottle after bottle after bottle, um, mulling away the time. Um, a beer to probably enjoy on your own in your own little thoughts. Um, a really, really beautiful beer. I just, I cannot praise this up enough. You know, this is a stone cold five out of five. Um, there's no question about it. You, you know, this has no other. You can't give this beer anything less. It's that good. Um, I might be ranting on a bit about it, but honestly, if, if you've had this beer, you'll know what I'm on about. If you haven't had this beer, please, please, please go out and get yourself a bottle. Um, now, I know I got this from um, Beautiful Beers in Bury St Edmunds, um, which I sort of pop over there sort of once a month or something like that. We go and have a day in Bury St Edmunds, got a nice little couple of pubs there and that sort of thing. And I pop in and see Rene there and uh, pick up a few beers. Um, very, very nice, knowledgeable bloke. Um, he actually uh, comes from, he's Dutch, he actually comes from a place called Oosterbeek. Oh, sorry, Ooster, Oosterhoot. Where I'm going into, I'm staying a night there in September because there's a famous little bar in Oosterhoot. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go there and visit it. And, yeah, he's a very, very knowledgeable chat. Um, he's got a website, you can go online and, and get, 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 you get, you know, if you can't visit Bury St Edmunds, you can get it online, they'll send it to you. Um, honestly, truthfully, do yourself a favour, get this beer. In fact, if you're going to get this beer, might as well just get the free, eh? And, and enjoy them over the next few weeks, as I am gonna, I'm going to enjoy them too. Um, yeah, look, get this beer, try it, leave a comment below. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new review. And of course subscribe to the channel, because without you subscribers, the channel's nothing really. Um, but seriously, do yourselves a favour and buy a bottle of this. You won't be disappointed. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.